Hi there folks, welcome back. I am I for Scotland and today I thought we would talk a little bit about the Scottish National Investment Bank, mainly what it is and how it will benefit Scotland in the years to come. The Scottish Government of course unveiled their plans for the National Investment Bank earlier last week when Benny Higgins, the Chief Executive Officer of Tesco Bank, had finally finished his consultation with both the Scottish public and Scottish businesses as well. And of course, like all Scottish Government consultations, they are available to read on the Scottish Government website and I've left you a wee link in the description below if you want to dive straight in there and have a read for yourself. So without further ado, we are going to just briefly outline what's going to happen in this video. First of all, I thought it would be nice to potentially introduce what an investment bank actually is. Then I would like to analyse a wee bit of the document, have a look to see what proposals have been suggested for a Scottish National Investment Bank. And then I think I'll just tail off with a wee bit about our own personal thoughts on the idea and what it means for the people of Scotland and what it could mean for a future independent Scotland as well. So I hope it's noted that I'm about to give an extremely general view of what an investment bank actually is. And I'm actually going to start with telling you what it isn't. So basically anyone who is thinking that they're going to have a Scottish National Investment Bank card that they're going to be able to go and deposit money into and stuff, you can forget about all that because that's not what an investment bank actually is. Some of the roles of an investment bank include dealing with large sums of money, particularly when a business or a private client want to invest a lot of money in a certain area. Uh, they sometimes act as intermediaries when two businesses are planning a merger. And they also do a lot of analysis of the economy as well, and they feed that back to the government. Some world-renowned investment banks include Goldman Sachs, Barclays, Deutsche Bank and JP Morgan. And there's absolutely no reason why the Scottish National Investment Bank can't be up there one day as well. So the next question is, what shape or form will a Scottish National Investment Bank actually take? And one paragraph in particular stood out to me while I was reading the document, and I'll just read it out for you just now. The Scottish National Investment Bank will provide finance and act to catalyse private investment to achieve a step change in growth for the Scottish economy by powering innovation and accelerating the move to a low-carbon, high-tech, connected, globally competitive and inclusive economy. I'm sure you will agree with me that that's an extremely bold and concrete mission statement. We'll now dive in a little bit on how that translates in the actual plans. The plans focus a lot on business growth opportunities, particularly in areas such as the innovative and productive sectors. Scotland as a country is of course famous for its innovation, from James Watt's condensing steam engine, to penicillin, to the Falkirk wheel. There's absolutely no reason why this shouldn't be an area of focus for the bank, and who knows, it could be your business that receives funding. Innovation, of course, takes time, and the bank is being shaped in order to support that. As fun as it sounds, a large sum of money being chucked your way for a startup is great until you're over the first hurdle and have no other support for your still growing business. The bank's plan reflects these concerns as they would seek to provide longer term patient finance for firms that are ambitious to grow. Another area will be investing back into Scottish projects, particularly in areas like transport and infrastructure and low carbon housing. That's not all the bank will do, but as with all organisations, it will evolve and grow into different roles in the future. Lastly, the document has laid out exactly how the bank will operate, the suggestion being that it's set up as a limited company and wholly owned by the Scottish Government, but with an independent board to oversee the operations. This allows the bank to tie in neatly with the Scottish Government's economic strategy and plan for the future of Scotland. And if you want to read the document a bit more in depth, the link is just in the description below, so do feel free to check that out. I'll just wrap up with a bit about what we think. I'm sure you've been able to gauge by how I'm speaking about it that we're in complete support of a Scottish National Investment Bank. The bank will provide public sector jobs, it will provide investment in Scottish businesses and it will also provide additional investment in infrastructure projects. As the bank evolves, we believe it should have a key role in the analysis of Scottish economic data and it would dovetail perfectly with the additional setting up of a Scottish statistics agency as currently a large chunk of our economic figures are estimates that are obtained from Westminster. This would allow both the people and the government to be better informed on what's best for Scotland and the Scottish economy. 
So with that, we'll wrap up the video there, folks. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, please feel free to leave a like. It makes us happy. Um, if you want to keep track of all of our other videos, please hit subscribe as well, as you'll get notified about when we put up new stuff. You're more than welcome to leave a comment as well. We will reply to every single one. And with that, we hope that you've enjoyed the video and we'll see you later. Have a great day, folks.